My name is Marina Felizardo, I'm 23 years old and I'm a student of architecture and urbanism in the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. We started the Bamboo Bike Project in the beginning of 2019 with a group of five students and the professor. The main intention of this project is to learn the making of the bike and trying to take this knowledge to the schools and in the future eventually to make the bike with the kids in the schools. We actually won an award in 2020 in the organization called Transporte Ativo in the category of educational action because of this contact that we made with the schools, middle schools, high schools, about our project and this exchange of knowledge between the university and the schools. We always see architects as people that design houses and buildings, but we also have an important role in the society as thinking the, the city and how we can make it better for people. So with the bike, we always studied about urban mobility and how it impacts people's lives and how we can make it safer for people and make them start using the bike more because it's more sustainable, it's more healthy than buses and cars. Before this project, I never heard of a bamboo bike. It was something that I really cared about, sustainability, making things that we normally see in some materials made of something totally different. It really caught my eye. We made our first bike in the end of 2019. The bike was in its natural form. You really can see that it's clearly bamboo. The other parts of the bike were from older bikes, normal bikes, that were old, that were rusty, but we managed to take the parts we needed and make it a brand new one. This is the laminated bamboo bike, and you can see the pieces of it that it's all glued together with resin. We have some special joints called finger joint. It gives more resistance to the frame. These little squares that are the pegs and it also helps to keep the, the pieces together. In the front part we really needed a tube shape to keep the handlebar very stable so we made this shape that is kind of round. There are some parts that really need some improvement like this one and this. Now, in the end of 2021 and in the beginning of 2022, we intend to make more five bikes. As a test, we are just starting this project. Bamboo is an incredible material. It's versatile, it's renewable, sustainable. It has a nickname of green steel. It's resistant to tension and compression. It's easy to use it, to cut it, to glue it, and it's versatile, that's why we choose the bamboo to make a bike. The main challenge we face with this project is probably the infrastructure. We didn't have a proper lab to experiment a lot of different frames of the bike. We are now trying to go to a more technological lab and expand our project and make it more bikes and more frames. When I was younger, the first time that I ever heard about sustainability and global warming was in school. And it was always a concern, but when you are young, a teenager, uh, you don't know how to make something to change it because it always seems like it's only you and it will make no impact in the society and in the world. As I came to the university, I met people that really cared about it and it's really nice to see that everyone is interested in it and worried about the sustainability and you don't feel alone anymore. I believe we can make an impact in the environment. In a first scale, our intention is inside the university, 
but I believe it can grow. It can go to other universities, to the city, to the country, and maybe the world in the future.